I'm gonna try to talk today. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to do a get ready with me, chatty get ready with me. <clears throat> Might have a few interruptions. I do have dogs and um, if they see a bird or a squirrel or a lizard or anything that moves or a leaf flying by, they will bark. I am sitting in front of the sliding glass window in the sunroom where I live. It's facing outside, obviously. Um, I don't have any special lighting or camera equipment or anything like that. I'm using my iPhone, and then I download I download the stuff in iMovie app that comes with iPhone. So please forgive the earpiece it might be kind of tacky, but I don't have like a special microphone or anything like that. I do have wit and charm, however. <laughs> Today I am going to be using products that are face products and I'm going to use them not only on my face but on my eyes. And bonus, I saw this on a YouTube channel the other day. Someone was using a lip pencil to contour their nose. If you've watched any of my videos, heard me lament about my nose, <laughs> learning to contour and I'm getting a little bit better but I, I tried this yesterday and uh, I had a lot more control and it was probably the best nose contour I've done so I'm super duper excited about that. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use it for a lip liner. This lip liner was hard to apply, it was rather stiff, but it wore well and lasted for a long time. I don't time. embellish my makeup very often like lip liners, I usually just walk around wearing gloss. Even learning to line my lips properly is interesting. This is Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil, it was $2.99 at Ulta. I was like, can't beat that, so let's give it a try. I know I'm gonna have to do some cleanup, so. Oh, lip lines, I just love you lip lines. I have a thin upper lip, it's um, thin. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make it look a little bigger and bring this up a little bit. And I'm sorry about the mirror. I, sometimes I forget that the mirror is right there in front of everybody. So Let's see if that helps a little. I don't need anything to make my mouth look more droopy or oddly. Formed. My the corners of my mouth seem to be they feel like it looks like they're spreading out a little or they're just more pigmented. And I'll put some concealer over the top and make it so it's less obvious, which I am going to do that. Duncan, going in now with some NYX butter gloss in the shade Madeline. It really is like butter. Okay, I'm picking up that Essence lip liner pencil again and heading in on the big construction job. The concept behind contouring is you shade areas that you want to seem less prominent and you highlight areas that you want to stand out. So. In this case, obviously, my nose is wide and it's long, so I am shading the sides of my nose to make it look more narrow, and I'm shading the tip of my nose to make it look less long and less droopy. The skill that is necessary to make the contour look real is an ongoing process. <laughs> I live in Florida and my dog was in the backyard. He had to go out. So we have bodies of water everywhere in the neighborhoods and off not too far in the distance, there is a pond and occasionally <laughs> you might see an alligator crawling out of that thing and just come and rest its laurels in your backyard, which in Florida is really rather normal. However, you don't want to have your pet near the alligator for obvious reasons. So I 
had to stop and uh, take care of my dog. And then I finally just said, we'll just do this chat another day. So here you can see where after I narrowed my nose with the contour pencil, AKA the lip liner, I added Nick's contour conceal uh, down the middle and on the sides and on the tip and holy smokes, it looks like I'm pretty aggressive with that, doesn't it? Well, I am sort of because I'm serious about highlighting the parts of my nose I want visible and shading the areas I don't want visible. And often I have to go back and redo it so many times that I found that it's just easier for me to overly apply and then buff it out. Just a friendly reminder to myself that makeup is fun. It's not that serious. It's fun. Can you see the difference? Here's where I go in and I dip my contour brush into the lavender powder that's in my Stila Correct and Conceal palette. And I'm gonna apply a lot more powder than I normally would any other place on my face. And I'll let it sit there for a couple minutes and let it bake. When you brush off the excess powder, a little bit of that powder remains, but it doesn't look cakey or powdery. It airbrushes the area and locks in the contour. You might look like Casper for a couple minutes, but it'll pass. All right, here's where I'm gonna start applying face products to my eyes. This is a pharmacy brand contour palette. I'm using the highlighting powder to cover my lid up to my eyebrows. Next up, here's the blush I'm gonna use for eyeshadow. This is a blush by Complex Culture. It's their Good Glow Blush line, and this is the color Flustered. It is a really soft, pretty pink, but the pigment is incredible. I've used this for blush many times. I love it. This came in an Ipsy kit. I think I'm gonna research this though so I can put a link in the comments if anybody's interested. So I took my powder brush and I whisked away all this extra powder that I had baking on my skin and guess what? I learned that you can indeed apply too much powder and it will get stuck and it's hard to remove it. There's always a takeaway. Every makeup video I do, there's always a takeaway. I guess there's a good reason they call it baking because if you overbake, it gets stuck to the pan. Gotta freshen up that butter gloss. That stuff is so yummy. Time for my favorite bronzer of all time, the Laura Geller Baked Bronze and Brighten in Medium. I love this product. Like, I'm not even kidding. I put it on, have nothing else on my face. If I'm feeling drab or blah or pale or tired or whatever. A little swish back and forth of that bronzer and I am good to go. Here is a neat trick. This is tight lining. And if you tight line your eye, right in the lash line there, just around the water line, you can make your eye look bigger. Look at that. So we're gonna go over to this other eye and do the same thing and hope that it matches the other eye. Wait, what? Okay, let's just keep trying. Just keep, keep trying. I finally figured out what was going on here. I felt so stupid. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually not a stupid person. I'm just gonna go ahead and blame this on menopause, okay? This was a mystery to me. Look at my eye. You know how sometimes when you apply mascara, you have one eye that is not as lifted as the other eye? I thought maybe I was doing something wrong with the application. But when I went to line my lower lashes, I noticed that the pencil was really dry. It didn't immediately occur to me because it was working fine 
one nanosecond earlier and I've really never had this pencil dry up on me like that before but I don't know that I've ever used it to tight line to be honest so anyway problem solved and here I am I am applying my elf lash and roll mascara just gonna go ahead and fast forward through this pretty basic stuff During the kerfuffle with my eyeliner pencil, I totally forgot that I wanted to use the Revolution Highlighter Reloaded Highlighter Palette in Dare to Divulge. Finally, time to add some of that Complex Culture Good Glow Blush. I'm using an angled flat brush for this blush. I've never seen this brush before. I don't know how to pronounce the name. It's B-E-S-T-O-P-E, -E. anyway. I'll list it in the description box, but it's a really nice flat angled brush. Wonderful for applying blush. It's really soft, but yet firm. So it gives a really good application. Go ahead and put some of this beautiful Laura Geller bronzer. Smoothing everything out there with a clean brush. So I'm not sure what I was thinking here, but I guess I thought it was a good idea to pull out this Pharmacy Contour Palette, which is more powder. Ultimately, I ended up way over powdering around my eyes and it was not a good look for the lines and wrinkles. Too much powder around the eyes, it caused my dark circles to sort of pop out a little more and just looks really dry. Oh well, it's just makeup, right?